Hello students, welcome to IMS Gate Academy. As part of this success story, one of our student, a classroom a online student, she has secured All India rank in CSE 452 in DA paper 279. So I would like to invite her uh, to see her uh, success story, how she has prepared. So what are the strategies she has applied to prepare in the Gate 2025? All the things we'll discuss in the session. So hello, Gauri Kartika. Welcome to IMS platform. And also, I'm heartily congratulating to getting all India rank of 452 in CSE as well as a 279 DA paper. Thank you, yes, sir. I would, uh, so, just introduce yourself and also so detail explain your preparation strategy. When did you start it? What was your motivation to prepare for a gate, a gate exam? So, what do you want to become uh, like after uh, so getting into your tech like this? So, the all things you can explain. Uh, so I'm Gauri Kartika. I am a 2024 B graduate and I had taken a drop actually to prepare for GATE because that was my main motivation that I wanted to study in a college that was more research oriented and I wanted to study in IASC and IITs, you know, some colleges like that. So that was my main motivation that I wanted to clear GATE and I wanted to get into one of these colleges so that I would have a lot more opportunities and I wanted to do my master's in one of these institutions. So that's why I joined the IMS GATE Academy and that gave me the opportunity to better myself and perform well in my GATE 2025 exam. So actually, when did you start uh, preparing for GATE, uh, Gauri? Uh, so I started pretty late. I actually started in September of 2024 after I had graduated. Okay, 2024 and September, you've taken the decision to prepare a, a GATE 2025. Yes. So it is a September, October, November, December, January, just five months. How did you manage within five months of securing all in the rank 452? Um, so I, I was, I had taken a drop, so I didn't have a lot to focus on in terms of college or in terms of workplace, but I also, I had this passion in me that I have to prove myself. I, I, I would see my friends and everybody, they would be doing their own things and I would feel, you know, a little bit guilty that, oh, I'm not doing anything or, oh, I'm just sitting at home preparing for an exam. So that pressure was really inside me and that really helped, you know, for five months I think I gave it my best I gave it my all I would focus only on whatever I had to do and that was yes that was a big motivation factor for me to complete my syllabus on time to complete my mock tests to complete my revision mm -hmm. and you know to sit in the gate exam hall and give it my best very good it is actually it is very inspiration to you know upcoming uh, 2026 aspirants you see she joined september took the decision i want to prepare for seriously for 25 and fully focused this four five months fully focused on studying very nice actually and uh, gauri kartika there how many hours you to manage for preparing for uh, this gate for a day since I was a drop, uh, I took a drop, I tried to give as much time as possible. So I would spend a lot of my time watching sessions, making my notes, and then uh, towards the evening, I would spend time revising my from my own notes and trying to do some mock tests and all that. So as I would say, if you have to have a dedicated approach rather than counting the number of hours, uh, see based on what kind of progress that you're making and try to give it as much time as you can. You can't measure it and you can't um, uh, you can't have a lot of space in your life for extracurriculars, but that would be okay because when once you're putting in a lot of effort for a dedicated approach, you know, you want to give gate very well, then not the, not the number of hours, we should focus on the kind of progress that we're making. Very good, very good. See, just uh, I would like to go in detailed manner. So you joined September. By that time, some uh, four or five subjects already completed, right? Like yes. a, a special way operating system. Some basic fundamental subject might have already completed, right? Uh -huh. so did you feel any pressure preparing for this? Uh, especially some most of the students feel that a CO subject is little tough. So how did you manage uh, that complex topic to be covered uh, in an early manner? like? 
um actually sir i have to give that credit to you because you used to take coa and i had your lectures and your lectures they were very you know they had a lot of clarity and you would explain everything that i needed in the subject honestly coa was one of the most difficult subjects for me and i would revise it countless number of times again and again because i would feel like it's it's just not going inside my head so i would revise it i would come back and it was such a vast subject but actually really I have to say thanks to you. I was able to do well in COA. I didn't want to skip any topic in like COA, DBMS, and in operating systems. And I was able to answer all the questions uh, just based on your lectures. Very nice, very nice. So, did you skip any portion, any other subject? Like uh, generally, people take compiler design is a less weighted subject. Okay, so last moment, not, I'm not getting a time, so skip it. This one. Did you skip any topic out of all syllabus? No, uh, actually five months is very less time to complete the syllabus in full depth. So that was not my approach. My approach was rather than getting into the depth, let me cover the full breadth of the subjects. Uh, I am actually an information science graduate. So I never had compiler design as a subject mm -hmm. in my college days. Uh, but the subject I saw, I saw that it has around like five marks weightage in gate. And I really didn't want to skip it for that reason. Even though it was less marks, the questions would be easy. So my approach was in whichever subject, I would try to cover the entire syllabus, even if it was only at a surface level, so that even when there are easy questions, I can handle them. Very nice. See, in the classes also, we used to tell like, no, student it should not feel like, you know, you go on any particular subject because I'm very master in computer architecture or operating system. I have to solve all the questions. So as a student, wise, it should not be a DFS. We are talking like BFS. You have yes. done a very good job covering the BFS. Like, no, depth is not required. We require that much level where I can able to answer the questions. But instead of that, you have to cover more syllabus. I think that is, uh, you applied very well covering the major syllabus. So yes. then, uh, did you check like, you know, uh, when key comes, how many marks you got like tentatively around before normalization? Uh, so my raw marks in CSE, I had shift one. It was 74.33. And after normalization, it was 71.16. And coming into this detail inside the preparation, uh, generally, we suggest a student to like any subject is over, try to prepare one short note so that that will be help you with the time of uh, prior to the exam, like five days prior or 10 days prior, one month prior, quickly can revise. So since you joined uh, September, uh, how you man did you manage any preparation of this short notes for the subjects? Um, short notes, I would try to prepare them, especially, you know, with algorithms, you can try to make short notes regarding the time complexity and with DBMS, some kind of queries, you can try to make short notes with that. Uh, with subjects like COA and OPS, it would be really hard to even make, uh, to start making short notes. So with that, I would, I, there was no other choice for me. I had to get down and I had to do it from scratch. And I would say as much as you do it from the beginning, it would be more helpful if you revise it, you know, as much times as you can, five, five times, six times, that would be better. Very nice point you told. Like, whatever topic generally will feel it uh, tough, but you would yeah. tackle that subject, practice, like revise more, more, more. There yes. is no shortcut to get in the clarity of the complex topic. Only one way to looking many times. So that, that becomes familiar to you. That yes. you have done. And what about this uh, PYQs? So what is your strategy for preparing PYQs or mock tests? Uh, with PYQs, I think from IMS Gate Academy, I had a book uh, that had all solved PYQs, I think from, from the past 30 years. And that was very helpful for me. Uh, it helped me, you know, I could uh, understand like familiarity with the concepts and I could know, okay, so these kind of questions come in the gate exam and I knew how to answer them. And with mock tests, yes, mock tests are very important because they will help you to identify, okay, there could be some concept that we don't know or there could be a new variety of questions that have not been asked in gate so far, but it can be asked in the future. So it allows you to test your concept and you can uh, you can check your preparation, how much you have done based on how you perform in the mock tests. Very good, very good. So majorly you've given more focus for mock tests. Like you also practice the PYQs and many mock tests you attempted, right? Yes. And uh, like exam was happened uh, 1st February. 
So what was the, uh, what exactly you've done last 10 days prior to the exam? That 10 days, last 10 days. General, so, lot of pressure with those times. Yes. I had a lot of pressure starting from January of 2025. So when the new year began, it was not very good for me. And actually it so happened that 15 days before my exam, I fell very sick. So I was sick and I was down for almost four to five days. I was very sick and I was actually getting scared about how uh, how I'm not revising. I'm wasting my time. And what if, you know, on the exam day, I'm not able to do well because of this. But I tried my best. I tried to uh, recover very fast. And then after that, I spent all my time doing revision. And, uh, you know, after that, I just I thought, OK, I have done my work. So it's not in my hands anymore. I have to believe in a greater force or something like that. And on the exam day, all I could do was I had to show up and I tried my best. I tried to remember everything that I had done. I uh, focused on all the concepts that I had learned and I just gave it my best. So I, it was not my work to worry about the result. So my effort was, that's it. This is a very excellent point which you've said. Like when our only goal is to be putting in action. My job is to be study and be comfortable in the topics and practice the number of questions. So that I have to attempt it. That is only my job. Whether results, what results come out, the rest part is the after the gate only now. Just coming to the exam. Generally, even our JNR students also met many people. Some people perform well, and some people they are potential, but you know in the Due to that exam three hours pressure, somebody somebody able to not able to perform well. So can you please elaborate how you manage these three hours uh, to secure that 70 above marks you cross? How you manage that three hours time? Um, so I would say you have to have a lot of focus. You have to be very alert. You have to take care of a lot of things. You have to make sure that your time management uh, skills are important. And, uh, you know, giving enough mock tests, it helped me identify like what all mistakes I was making. Like I was... Uh, giving up my accuracy just so that I could do problems faster. But that's not how it should be in the exam. You can do it at a slower speed as long as your accuracy is good. So I could identify that and I could rectify that in time. So make sure you give a lot of mock tests and in the three hours, you know, focus on checking, rechecking, verify your answers, you know, before you mark them. Be more careful in those kind of MSQ and NAT questions uh, because there's a lot of places where you can can lose marks there rather than gain them mcqs okay there's an option you'll be careful because there's negative marking but with msq because there's no negative marking you can't take a risk with that you have to try to get it correct because it's it might be worth two marks so very good see especially you know surprisingly happened this gate 2025 msq course are there fast years also but this time both the session we observed for most of the msqs uh options so one is right I think you yes. might have observed all. Yes. And some students, like, no, they attempted, like, the want they were trying to uh, get these options. Okay, maybe one more option also, right? So, did you kind of uh, any confusion happen or you strongly less uh, this question? This would be the answer like this. Um, so with MSQs, I was pretty confident. I could realize that there's a trap over there. They want you to select two options, but especially in questions of TOC, I had my basics very clear. So I knew that the rest of the options cannot be correct. And there's only one correct answer in that. That's why I was able to mark it well. But where I made a mistake was actually in the NATs. I think I had made around three mistakes in the question, in my entire question paper. And it was it was actually very hurtful for me because in a place where they had given the answer as 435 I had given 436 and where you know the answer was six I had given five so in those places you know I had lost out but you know for a student they have to be very careful in that and one more thing uh, generally people sir MSQ questions uh, there are multiple options theoretical questions can come MSQs do we need to study extra apart from this, uh, whatever taught in the class? Do you study any extra things or only believed on this fundamental strong? So with this knowledge, only you're able to solve this MSQ questions. Fundamentals should be very strong. Um, covering extra is optional. Like if you have the time and if you can dedicate, you know, have a good textbook and you can learn from that extra, that's well and good. But definitely not, 
don't do that before having your fundamentals strong. So that is very important. And once you're able to do that, you can answer a lot of questions. But with what you read extra, there's a chance it might come, it might not come in the exam, it might help you, it may not help you. But not having your fundamentals strong is it's a very big problem. This is what uh, the gate always uh, focused on. Whatever formula, something you applied does not matter. Uh, if you are uh, strong in fundamental, if you're strong in fundamental, if you understood the question at the moment, you will apply your own strategy. You can get the answer, right? That was uh, actually happens in the gate paper. So a lot of insights you've given, uh, Gauri, actually, you know, this really helps to a lot of students. They have mind like, you no, know, for, for preparing gate exam, definitely required one year at a time required more than one year at a time. But you have proven that if you have a proper strategy, proper like dedication, consistently work with the focus. One important point you told like uh, when I started preparing, when I thought of to prepare for this gate, my friends are doing their own job. I have to do my job only. I avoided, you have avoided various like a lot of social media, keeping aside, focusing only for this gate preparation like four or five months then proven it. So my dear students, you know, you have a proper dedication and proper intuition, like what you want to do it next to four months, what you want to become. If that is there, like uh, no situation can stop you to you know progress in this way and getting very good on the marks. Because the real time uh, student is proven our student only because naturally some students start January, December, more than a year spend it. But if not having proper uh, focus in this entire year, so they're highly impossible to get the marks. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Gauri Kartika, giving time and um, giving insight to the our upcoming students also. The Finally, the one thing what you want to suggest for this GATE 2026 aspirants. Um, so I would say, yes, get your fundamentals strong. Uh, be consistent in your preparation. Like Sir said, there are people who start almost one year in advance, but make sure that there are no breaks in between because, you know, sometimes it happens, you complete one subject, you don't revise it on time, and then it will go out of your mind completely. So don't let that happen. Try to stay consistent, keep working, even if you make little progress every day. After a year, by Jan, you know, you'll feel a lot more confident based on how much total preparation you've done. Don't compare yourself to others. Just focus on what you're doing and uh, just try to give your best. That's it. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Gauri Kartika. And I hope uh, you started admission also. I, I, I have information, some IIC Bangalore, so some calls came. So prepare well for that interviews also. All the best. No? All the best, Governor Kartika. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.